Edith Swanishaw, also known as Edith Swanishals or Edith the Fair, was the first wife or mistress of King Harold II of England. She is also commonly known as Edith Swaneck, but this comes from the folk etymology which made her in Old English a Swanecker, Swanneck, which was actually most likely a corrupted form of Swanness, gentle swan. She is sometimes confused with Ailjith, daughter of Eildorm and Eilfgar of Mercia, and Harold's queen consort. Consort of King Harold. She may be identical with Edgifu the Fair, who was one of the wealthiest magnates in England on the eve of the Norman Conquest. Their children included Gunhild, who became the mistress of Alan Rufus, and Gaitha, who was taken by her grandmother to Denmark in 1068. Gaitha was addressed as princess and married the Grand Duke of Kiev, Vladimir Monomuk. Though King Harold II is said to have lawfully married Edith of Mercia, the widow of the Welsh ruler Griffith ap Llywelyn whom he had defeated in battle, that marriage in spring 1066 is seen by most modern scholars as one of political convenience. Mercia and Wales were allied against England, and the marriage gave the English claim in two very troublesome regions and also gave Harold Godwin in a marriage deemed legitimate by the clergy, unlike his long-time common-law marriage with Edith the Fair. Edith the Fair was remembered in history and folklore chiefly because it was she who identified Harold's body after the Battle of Hastings. The body was horribly mutilated after the battle by the Norman army of William the Conqueror, and, despite pleas by Harold's mother, Gaitha Thorkel's detea, for William to surrender Harold's body for burial, the Norman army refused, even though Harold's mother offered Harold's weight in gold. It was then that Edith the Fair walked through the carnage of the battle so that she might identify Harold by markings on his chest known only to her. It was because of Edith the Fair's identification of Harold's body that Harold was given a Christian burial by the monks at Waltham Abbey. This legend is recounted in the well-known poem by Heinrich Heine, The Battlefield of Hastings, which features Edith the Fair as the main character and claims that the marks known only to her were love bites. In his 2015 monograph Investigation into the Identity of the Visionary of Our Lady of Walsingham, Edith the Fair, the historian Bill Flint identifies Edith Swanishals as the Walsingham Visionary who has been known colloquially in history as Reichold or Richildish. In this work, Flint overturns many of the previous assumptions made about Edith's relationship with Harold Godwinson, including the fidelity of the couple's marital union and Christian devotion. Flint argues that Edith and Harold were almost certainly married under the Danish Moors Danico or Handfast marriage custom. As evidence for this, he cites a number of dowry bequests that were made at the time of Edith's union to Harold. Flint notes that the bequests made included Walsingham Manor, making Edith in all probability the Lady of the Manor during the year of 1061, which was identified by Tudor historian Richard Pinson as the year of the foundation of the Shrine of Our Lady of Walsingham. Flint claims that the Moors Danny co union of Edith and Harold is legitimate from a Catholic perspective, arguing that the changes confirming the sacramental nature of Christian marriage had only recently been promulgated from Rome. Throughout the Dane law and widespread among the nobility of England who now had many such Scandinavian bloodlines, the Handfast marriage, which was customary and widely accepted throughout Northern Europe, should not be referred to as an illegitimate union. Flint's identification of Edith as the Walsingham visionary is rooted in his belief that the earlier date of Shrine's foundation, given by Richard Pinson as 1061, is credible. Pinson's history, which is given in a narrative poem known as the Pinson Ballad, had been previously thrown out by historians on the grounds it was unreliable as an oral narrative. Flint contests the theories of J.C. Dickinson on the grounds that the 1131 Norfolk Roll, which Dickinson claims refers to the foundation of the shrine, actually refers to the foundation of the Priory of the Austin Friars, which preceded the foundation of the Walsingham Shrine. 
He also notes that Edith Swanner-Schulz was known within the court as Reich Old, meaning fair and rich, and the appellatory title given by Pinson could therefore refer to the Anglo-Saxon Queen, a reference which is consistent with the original date given in the Pinson Ballad as 1061. For Edith Swanner-Schulz was the Lady of the Walsingham Manor in this period. Flint therefore establishes Edith Swanner-Schulz as a Christian queen and the legitimate spouse of Harold Godwinson, as well as defending her Christian character as the probable visionary of the Shrine of Walsingham. In defending Edith's Christian character, Flint cites her friendship with St. Wolf Stan of Worcester. Historical Fiction Helen Hollock, Harold the King, G.A. Henty, Wolf the Saxon, Julian Rathbone, the last English king, Edward Bulwer Lytton Harold, the last of the Saxons, G.K. Holloway, 1066, What Fates Impose, Carol McGrath, the Handfasted Wife, Eeljith was portrayed by Janet Suzman in the two-part BBC TV play Conquest, part of the series Theatre 625. The German poet Heinrich Heine wrote Schlechtfeld B.E.I. Hastings. In this poem, Edith and two monks search the battlefield for the body of King Harold. Citations Carrad A. B. Williams, An. Ede Gifu, Edua, The Fair, The Rich, Magnate, Oxford Dictionary of National Biography, Oxford University Press, DOI, 10.1093, Ref, ODNB, 52349, Retrieved 19 March 2014, Carrot Ardar, Philip. Philip Odder's Book of Kings, Queens, Emperors and Rotten Wart Nosed Commoners, Carrot Pool, Russell Gilbert, Old English Wisdom Poetry, D.S. Brewer, p. 238, ISBN 9780859915304, Carrot Jones, K. 1066, History in an Hour, p. 32, Carrot Jones, K. 1066, History in an Hour, p. 33, Carat Mason, Emma, The House of Godwin, The History of a Dynasty, p. 178, Carat, Schlechtfeld B.E.I. Hastings, Project Gutenberg der, Retrieved 27 October 2014.